practice and then outside. And look, she's being ratchet already. Being ratchet as usual. You sick of it? I know. Stop. Layla, chill, bro. Something to eat. She crazy. Hold up, I got a little piece of little little tiny piece of egg. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, it's on your nose. Look, look at you. You can't even eat it because you're crazy. You got it? Baby eating out her. Uh, look, she growing up so big. Uh uh, now she about to steal. Yeah, eat your own stuff. Oh, it's all gone. Dang, you hungry or what? I had to give her some more. She gonna eat Chloe food. Look, Chloe eat it fast. She said, Nah, I ain't letting me baby eat all my food. What the girl? Third round. <laughs> Chloe still trying to eat the food she had. Stir yours up. Mm. Yes, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't hold it like that, son. I can't hold it like that. Cheers. Mm. Chloe, you know, baby food. Where's the baby? Mm. Oh, she must be done. Why you got a piece of egg under the table? What's this egg under the table for? You gonna save it for later or what? We don't do that here. You eat it now or don't eat it. Get that egg. Get this egg, baby. Look, I ain't playing with you. Get this egg now. Okay, I'm getting it. Oh, you wanted it? My fault. You can't leave it there. Where you going with it? You know you're full. Just leave it and give it to me. Exactly, you fool. Give it here. Give it. It the baby, give it. Just give it to me. The baby. You know you can't eat it. You fool. Go ahead, take it. Fine. And Chloe don't want it either. Don't nobody want your egg. Eat it. Shoot. What's your problem? Hmm? What's your problem? Why you bite my baby, huh? Hmm? You know better. We don't do that here. Have my baby crying. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You stay right there. Because I'm not done. Because you know better. That was bad. That was bad, girl. And you're a good girl. We don't bite babies in this house. Okay? I don't care what the baby did. She's just a baby. And if you can't handle it, you need to walk away. Okay? Don't do that no more, him. You hear me? Yeah. Y'all boy just act a fool in Wawa. Get out my frame, sir. Get out. Get out my frame, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unhand me. Y'all boy just act a fool in Walmart. Um, I'm not showing him right now because we mad at each other. And I don't feel like talking to him to ask his consent. So, he just acted a fool in Walmart, uh, Wawa. We went in there first thing happened was some people recognized me so instantly i was on high alert like 
you know, I'm being watched now. Um, and usually it's not a big, big deal, but I've been experiencing a lot of high anxiety days. And today was one of those days. And I didn't even realize it until we went in. Sir, what this slurping? It's gone. Anyways, we went in there. We got recognized. Fine. You know, I spoke. Um, Stacy was laughing. He was smiling. He was, I guess he was happy that, you know, that happened. It hasn't happened to us in a while. So he was happy. So we get now, he getting his slurpee or whatever. Uh, mind you, I don't usually bring Stacy in with me when I go and get his snack. I just like to go in and go out. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, I experience anxiety and I have social anxiety even if I'm not speaking to somebody. If I go in the store, suddenly I get social anxiety because there are other people there. So I usually just go by myself. But today, today I was like, you know, he got his own money like it really don't make sense to just keep taking his car leave him in a car and go and get his stuff from wawa when i half the time i don't really know what he want and then he don't ever tell me even if i ask him he don't tell me so it's basically whatever i want to get him at the time it might be right it might be wrong so today i wanted him to have what he wanted so i let him come in with me anyways we're going to get he going to get his slurpee it's fine Okay, the first thing wrong that happened, maybe not really wrong, but to me, it was just like disgusting. I was trying to make him stop. Um, he was trying to fill up his Slurpee. I put the lid on for him, you know, the circle lid with the hole in it. I put that on and of course he going to go and get some more and try to fill it up all the way to the brim, to the top of where the little circle hole is. Of course he going to do that. Everybody do it. I do it. But he didn't just fill it up. He filled it up and then allowed it to overflow on purpose so he can then... Mm, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, because we in Wawa. So I'm trying to get him to stop that. He like, mind your business. All right, we move on. So I went to go and order him his hot food. And then I'm like, well, he right here. Let me get him to come over and order. He wouldn't come over at all. All he wanted to do was pace the store. He want to walk back and forth in the store, look at everything. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Let me let him pick his snack first. He pick his snack get his stuff self together and then come over to the screen to order his food order his food <laughs> great he did a good job now we go over to pay for stuff we pay for everything he put his card in you know he was a little bit distracted but that lesson went well and he did good um pay for his food but he didn't bring his tablet in and then he forgot something all the way across the other end of the store that he had wanted to buy so we have after we already paid for it now he's going all over the store and i'm like bro we already paid like let's get our hot food and go but whole time he trying to tell me that he had picked something else out instead of holding it in his hand he put it down he trying to tell me this but no tablet so you can imagine how frustrating i was trying to figure out <laughs> i'm not all done I'm not that's why I'm talking to my friends because I don't want to fuss at you. I'm not all done. And we're not good yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that happened. We pay for our stuff and he trying to go and get his, you know, last little snack. It was an oatmeal pie, but I didn't know that he had wanted to buy that. Otherwise I would have put it in there too and we would have paid for everything together. So it's okay, it's not a big deal. But like I said anxiety high alert stacy's back and forth he's walking so fast that people have to move out of his way and also not a big deal because nobody seemed to be complaining and then there were two other people that you know watch our tiktok and watch our you know youtube and such so they knew us so i know nobody minded but still as a mom i'm like oh my gosh like please you know just be still for a second just a second because he's so broad you know, and, and we in Wawa, there's not that much space for him to pace like he want to. So it was really, it was really um, bringing me a lot of anxiety. Um, so I'm not saying Stacy was bad, but when I was trying to figure out what he wanted, I was trying to tell him to um, stand and talk to me. But instead of standing and talk to me, he had to continue. Uh walking back and forth and trying to do what he mm. wanted to do but i couldn't let him because he was trying to put the oatmeal cake in our bag and we hadn't paid so it was like and i was trying to calm him down so he understand okay we have to go back to the register uh -huh. but he was too hype 
to hype. He just want to put it in a bag. And then he had a meltdown, a little mini, a little mini meltdown. Now it's my turn to have a meltdown. So that's what's happening. And he want me to be all done. Because I was trying mm. to talk to him about it, but mm. he won't listen. He kept telling me to be quiet. Mm. He was like, shh. So now I'm talking shh. to y'all. And look, now he don't even want me to talk. And that ain't fair. I know you're ready to go, but it's not time. We got 10 more minutes. And you need to calm down too anyways, buddy, because you're still high energy. I don't think they want you like high energy like that in therapy. Are you all done with your lunch? Huh? Are you all done with your lunch? You are? I'll leave you alone? Well, whatever. You, you started talking to me. I was talking to my friends. You started talking to me. So then wait, man. Let me, just wait. Let me see your nice ass. Oh, and BT Dubs too. In the store, he kept on me <laughs> because I was holding on to his shirt trying to stop him from walking back and forth. Um, and he helped. And I was like, sir, hands. What is up with these hands? I want nice hands. Those are mean hands. And he did not do nice hands. <laughs> he was like, girl, I don't care nothing about that. Get off of me. What's up with that? What if you would have hurt mommy's shoulder? Huh? Because you know my shoulder's old. What if you would have hurt them? <laughs> what you mad about? Nothing? So why you fussing? Because you don't want to talk about this? Well, that's not fair. Fine. I'll stop talking about it. I'll stop talking about it. It's fine. Because I already told my friends. And I wasn't talking bad about you. Like, I was just saying what happened. We cool. We cool. He's smiling. We cool. Well, you got eight more minutes and then we could go outside, okay? Because we are early anyways. But I'm going to the gym after this because I need to let out some steam anyway. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym while Stacey's at therapy on Monday and Wednesday. I might as well. Because I got two hours to wait on him. And ain't no sense me going all the way back home. No sense. Anyways, I just wanted to tell y'all that. I really, be <laughs> I really be feeling like these vlogs is like a way for me to vent. So I don't keep stuff deep down inside. And then if I would have kept that inside, maybe later when I would have picked Stacy up or something like that, I would have accidentally like yell at him or something like that. And I don't want that. And I really don't want to talk to him like that. But when I was trying to explain to him, because he was trying to get me to, you know, play around with him and like he was, you know, making jokes with me. And I was like, no, like I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. And then I was trying to explain to him why I wasn't in the mood. And he kept telling me to be quiet. Mm -hmm. That ain't cool. Mm -hmm. Stacy. when you get a girlfriend or a wife, you can't do that. They need when, If they need to talk, you need to let them talk. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people need to talk. And it doesn't mean they are mad or you did anything bad. It means that they need to get that stuff out of, off of their chest. Which means that if they don't say the things that they're feeling, then they could get very angry. And you don't want people to get very angry because I know you don't like the angry voice. I know you don't like it because you always tell me all done. So you should just let me get my words out when I'm not angry so I don't get angry later, okay? Mm -hmm. And like, you don't even have to listen for real. Just pretend like you listening, okay? That would make mommy feel better and your future wife or future girlfriend or whoever. That would make any woman feel better. Just let them talk, okay? Thank you. I think he understands. Why are you doing that? Stop. Mine doesn't leak. Yeah, hers 
that's why I gotta get one like hers. Mine anymore. Now I'm addicted to my. Stop. Hey, stop. Our with our puppies, so included with the full package, we'll get her second distemper. We'll do her Bordetella, which is a kennel cough vaccine. We'll get a dewormer, and then we'll do a puppy nail. Okay. Oh yeah! Thank God. Yes. Stop it. She's like, I got little talons. Get those nails out of here, those right. claws. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. like four. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. What's the matter with the baby? I know you want to get out. But they keep open. See, look, see how I save your life? They keep opening the door and she keeps wanting to go over there by the door. She's going to get flung across the room. I'm not having it. I'm not having it, the baby. I'm not having it, my baby. I don't want my baby to get flown across the room. Right. Oh, you're mad. Okay. You're the tutorest tutor that ever tutored, honestly. For real. You are, you're the tutorest tutor. Hey, y'all. I'm not exactly sure where I am on this vlog, but, um, What's up? Welcome to my channel. Uh, I am about to mount this shelf up here. I've already marked where the studs are. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're super far away. That irritates me. But anyways, I'm going to still put it up there. Who had the dough? Oh. Well, I'm getting these delayed um notifications just now telling me that you're at the door and you're right here. I'm on. Probably. That wasn't an invitation to come in, though. <laughs> mm -mm. What's that? Oh, it's already put together. I'm just going to put it on the wall now. <laughs> so I got these, uh, what do you call these? Brackets or whatever. I'm a pink. And then, bing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not that high. I'm not really that high. I'm not really that tall. So maybe not that high. Maybe down here. And then we're going to put the shelf up here. And then I can put all my little knickknacks. Because I have a lot of stuff that um, I keep to, you know, keep me calm and stuff. These little things. And they keep falling. They keep falling on my desk. So it's kind of irritating me. And then I have a lot of other little stuff all over the place, too. So that's also irritating me. So I'm going to mount this so I can get my stuff together and put my room to some kind of, because right now it's mad messy. It's very messy, my office. But anyways, I reckon it goes like this. I put the other shelf up there, but I don't like the way that one looks. I think I put it backwards. I put it like this, and it was it's not long enough, so it's like hanging over like so. I don't like that. But I'm not going to change it either. I'm not changing it. But all right, I think, where do I want this thing? Let's see how big it is first. Okay, so here she is. Here's the shelf in question. Oof. Oh, man, I worked out yesterday. I forgot. Ouchies. Owie. I'm usually stronger than this. I swear. Usually. All right, so I think I think right here is perfect, actually. Okay, so it looks good right there. So that's where I'm gonna put it, and I'm gonna put one down here. Um, let me go ahead and mark it. Uh, who in the hallway? I need help. Help. Hold it. You gotta hold it up. Yeah, I gotta hold it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. <laughs> Stays. What the fuck? Pick it up. Pick it up. You gonna drop it? Put it on the wall. There you go. Right here, right here. Please hold it right here, please. I'm literally asking you to do the bare minimum. Pick it up. Thank you. Right here. Hold it right there. Hold it. Why are you letting it fall? Hold it. Hold it on the wall. Right there. Thank you. Hold it right there. All right. Get out of here, bro. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna mark a little ting ting. Some little holes with a well one hole. I'm just gonna put one hole so I can be able to uh move it. Because I know I'm not going to put it up there level. This line right here, I know it ain't level. Probably not.
that just irritated my soul. Why, why, why are kids like that? Why are teenagers like that? Right. Hey, swear they're going to need me for something. Swear he's going to need me for something. But as soon as I ask him to do something, it's a big deal. I don't like that. All right, we got a hole right here. Okay, so um, what can I update you guys on while I'm doing this? Oh, oh, um, so I told you guys about the incident at Wawa, right? So I told Stacy's therapist. Oh my goodness, hold on. What in the Lord's name? There we go. I was going the wrong way. Anyways, so I told... It's because I didn't do it pat pat before I started. That's why. You wonder why men always do that, always do that before they start? Because they want to know which way it's going. I didn't do that. And then I'm over here trying to screw it in the wrong way and wondering why it ain't working. Have mercy. Have mercy. But, um, yeah, so I told Stacy's therapist. She said, she said that she can, um, go to the store with us. And, um, you know, give me some pointers and then also see how he is. And um, they kind of can build a lesson plan from there, you know, so he can comfortably um, shop. But also follow the rules, because that was the problem. He wasn't following the rules. And um, that kind of stuff can get you hemmed up, especially him. He's huge, big black man. You think the police ain't going to hesitate. You're going to jail, sir. They don't care. If you're autistic, they don't care. So we need him to get on the program. So she says she's going to come with us next week when we go to therapy. No school tomorrow. Oh, yeah, no school tomorrow. Anyways, next week when we go to therapy, she said she's going to come to Wawa with us. And she's going to go with Stacy and help him pick out his uh, food. Or just, I mean, he don't really need help picking out his food, but, you know, just be with him, assist him, you know, let him know, hey, we got to come over here or this, that, and the third, and then to pro appropriately use his tablet while he's in there. And then she's also going to work with him and his card um, because that's something I've been struggling with. Like, he's got the put the card in the chip thing. He's got that down pack, but he hasn't yet mastered the pin number. And some of those little card things, they don't let you bypass the pin. So for, you know, unless it's a credit card, but they still don't have no credit cards. Anyways, so I'm super excited about that. Where is my level? Get on my level. All right. Boom. Dang, I actually did. Hold up. It's kind of level. Kind of. Boom. All right, so now that I got it level, I'm just going to draw the rest of the holes down here, and then we're going to, whatchamacallit, drill them. Really don't have to draw the holes since the thing is already right here, but I like to be thorough. I like to be thorough. So I'm super excited about um, the, uh, next week's uh, therapy session. Because I'm tired of being stressed out when it comes to, um, y'all even see me down here? Hold up. Oh, Ted, that's better. Oh, Ted, that's better. Where my nail now? My screw. I'm nosy. Somebody came to pick heaven up. Who is it? Let me make sure I get the license plate number for it. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. While well, I stalk my daughter. Oh, that is the groceries. That's not nobody picking up now. That's our groceries. That's our Instacart. Oh, wait. Here they come. Why is she walking down the street? I want to see who picking you up, ma'am. 
She must have told them to pick her up from down the street. I can't see that far. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure got it. Not me in detective mode. Just in case, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's old enough where I don't ask her where she's going, but do I trust these people? I don't know. But anyways, all right, let's go. Let's screw this in. Boom. Me like it. Me like it. It moved just a tad, but that's okay. Because I have room for a uh, mistake, so it's all right. Oh, bitch. Get your ass in there. But... Anyways, so um, I wanted to tell y'all about, you know, I keep updating you guys about Stacy's therapy and how he's doing it, ABA and all that, because I know a lot of you guys are curious about it. Like, you know, should I do this? Um, and, you know, I'm kind of proving to you that it works. A lot of things that Stacy knows how to do now, he learned in therapy, like tying his shoes, um, crossing the street, a lot of stuff. He learned it in therapy. So, I mean, if that doesn't tell you, you know, and like I said, um, in previous videos, like you are in charge. If you do take your child to therapy, you're in charge of what happens, what doesn't happen. If there's something going on that, um, you're like, mm, I don't really think, you know, they should be learning that. Like, it's not as important as this. You tell them they will take it out. They have to, they work for you. But yeah, so I'm going to let you guys know how that goes um, with Stacy at the, uh, whatchamacallit, at the Wawa with the uh, therapist. I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. I think I'm going to put this one right here. Because there's nothing more stressful than being in the store. Dang, that almost fell. Did y'all hear that? see that there's nothing more stressful than being in the store and just being stressed out by you know people staring at your kid you know them doing things that they're probably not supposed to be doing in a you know public setting like community you know stuff and just you know being themselves and then it's hard for me to um you know teach him because in those moments, like, he don't care about nothing but getting what he getting, getting his snacks. And if it wasn't for how mean and rude people can be sometimes, like, I would not. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't care. I would just let him run around the store or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because he's really not hurting anybody, but until he does. So that's the problem. He paces aggressively sometimes when he's excited or... You know, anything, uh, any heightened emotion, he paces aggressively. Imagine, y'all seen my son. Imagine this 6'3 black man, big beard, wide shoulders, just 200 and some pounds, just aggressively pacing back. Imagine, I just can't have it. I just can't have it. And I know, like, he don't mean no harm. But you know what? Sometimes he's not watching where he's going. And sometimes he's bumping into people and all that kind of stuff. And ain't nobody got time for Stacey's mom to be going to jail. Because somebody didn't say something out the side of their neck because my son want to pace. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. I don't see nothing wrong with him pacing. It's just the fact that he don't watch where he's going at all. He have tunnel vision. Like, if he's shopping, he in one spot shopping, and he sees something over there, beeline to it. Bull in China shop, even. And just, he, it, he don't look at whatever else is there. He don't look at the people right there. You know what I'm saying? He's just looking at what he's going to get, and that's it. 
So that could be um, that could be dangerous sometimes. Be unsafe for him, unsafe for people. Um, there have been times where he's knocked stuff over on accident doing that, you know. So just teaching him to have situational awareness really is the main thing. And got like just because we're excited, we still have to remember where we are, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's the thing I am looking for. Like, I'm not trying to suppress him. I'm not trying to make him be nothing he's not. It's just while we're in certain places, we have to act accordingly, um, you know, to the, that place's rules. And there's nothing wrong with teaching an autistic child if they want to be out in the community. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to know the community rules. They're going to have to. If you go in Wawa, you got to know the Wawa rules. And just rules are just, you know, social gatherings. I mean, I know, like, Wawa ain't a social gathering, but there are other people there. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know how to act around other people is what I'm trying to say. I guess. This is going smoother than I thought. The last um, shelf I put up, it was difficult. And it irritated my soul. And I was like, it took me weeks to put this one just because of how long it took the other one. But I guess I made all my mistakes on the other one. I'm good. Yep. You got to break eggs to make omelets. You know what I'm saying? That's to break them. All right, so our brackets are up. Now, I'm gonna put this shelf, and I need some small screws. Okay, there they are. I need the small ones for it. I'm just gonna screw these into the shelf. Hopefully it turns out how I want it to, because the way I'm seeing it in my head might not be how it comes out. It's always a possibility. But I do enjoy putting stuff together. I enjoy, I enjoy building stuff, putting stuff together, taking it apart, all that. I do it quite often, any chance I get. When I buy something off of Amazon, you know how they say, uh, do you want the professionals to help you build this, put this together? No! I want to do it myself. The more difficult, the better. <laughs> That's why I bought that greenhouse. It was hard as Hard as hell to put together, but worth it. Totally worth it in the end. All right. What do we have? Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, perfect. Ah! <laughs> That's crazy. That worked out perfectly. All right, I should have grabbed the. Oh, it's right here. I was about to say I should have grabbed a screwdriver before I put it up here. What? We be motherfucker, not an exact science. Definitely kind of hard to uh, put these screws in at this angle. So they kind of going in slanted, but that's all right. That's all right. I'm still going to, I'm still going to keep going. Because as long as they're going in, that's the thing. I don't care if they're going in slanted. I just don't want my shelf falling. So I have to put all the screws in. Tight as possible. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One more for this side. Oh, bitch! 
Not you fell. Why do you keep doing this to me? I like this screwdriver because you know it ratchets, but it's very annoying because the slightest little touch and boom, it's to the other side. And you think you're doing something, but you really undoing it. Okay. Let's try this again. And don't play with me, screwdriver. Don't don't play with me. Laddy tidy lefty loosey. I I done told you now. Somebody said on Facebook, what's the best advice you ever got? <laughs> and my, for me and my friends were like, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I never forget it. Ever. Ever. Because that was like one of the first things um, my supervisor taught me when I got in the military. Because honestly, before I joined the military, I didn't know how to use tools at all. I didn't know nothing about tools. I didn't know nothing about tools, screws, nails, none of that. All I knew was a hammer and a screwdriver, and I didn't know the difference. But, yeah, that was the first thing they taught. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. And definitely has helped me in all life's endeavors. Not all of them, but, you know what I'm saying? It's helping me fix things for sure. A little wobbly, a little shaky, shaky, a little shaky. I might have to put one more up here. It's a little shaky, a little wobbly. Don't nobody want a wobbly shelf up on the wall. If it hits you in the head, you know what? I don't need this anymore, do I? One more, and then we'll see how shaky it is before I put another bracket. All right. Last one. These brackets are good. I mean, it's shaky because I need another bracket on this side, but I can't. I can't put one on this side because you doggone beam way over here. But that's okay. I'm not putting nothing heavy up here. And honestly, this is more sturdy. This is sturdy. I'm cool with it. Let's see how this looks. Put these up here. What else? Glasses. What else? What else can I stick up here? Because I got all this stuff on my desk. It's way too much. Um. Well, I guess that's it for now. Oh, my little Nicky Max. My little Nick Max. Oh, you don't fit that way? You can fit like that. Like so. I like this thing. And it's handmade. I like the sounds it makes. A lot of stuff um, that I have, like little fidget stuff that I have. Um... Like these, this, and then these things, and then this. All these things I took from Stacy because I bought them for him. And then he was like, no, I don't like that. So I took them. And then I realized how much, how soothing they are. Like if I have anxiety or anything, just start playing with these. Anxiety is gone. Well, at least fades. You know what I'm saying? So there we have it. We have a shelf up and that's it and that's all now i can go about my day because that was really bothering me really it really was because it, oof, the shelf was on the floor let me see how this oh perfect the shelf was on the floor and it was right there and i kept bumping my big toe on it. and i said nah this shelf got to go i gotta put it up in my prayer box Look, I'm not really Christian, but isn't it cute? What do I have in here anyways? Oh, <laughs> moolah. <laughs> this is where I'm keeping my change, I guess. And then there is, um, you know, cumin in here. 
uh, scripture. It says in Revelations 21, 21, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass. Ooh, that's some good gold. It was transparent. And then the bottom says, you are loved, Isaiah 41 and 10. One of my good friends made this for me when I was in the book club. I think I might go back to the book club. Oh, this is a note to myself. I don't need to open up. It's going to make me cry. But yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm good. Hey, 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 stop playing, Shay. You did that, Shay. Thank you, Shay. And you painted this wall, too, Shay. It looked good. Shay, thank you. You like the wall, Shay. Thank you. Thank you. It looks good. Oh, um, I was going to put plants up here, but now I realize they're not going to get any sun if I put them over here. So I'm going to leave my plants where they are. But yeah, that's the update. And also, we did a thing. Oh, wait. Oh, we did a thing. You know what I'm saying? I do things from time to time. I enjoy doing things. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Another vlog. I'm not sure how many days of the vlog this is, but y'all know how many days it is. Y'all know. All right? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Bye.